Hello viewers, welcome to Khala Jan's Kitchen. I'm Farhanda and today I'm making whole wheat bread with nuts and seeds. This bread is packed with fiber and nutrition and is very easy to make. Store-bought bread contains a lot of chemicals, especially preservatives, in order to increase the shelf life of the bread. We make this bread at least three or four times a month and it can stay in the fridge for up to a week. To make this bread, we will need 3 cups of whole wheat flour, 1 cup of oat flour, 2 and a quarter cups of lukewarm water, 3 teaspoons of instant yeast, 2 tablespoons of salted butter at room temperature. If you are using unsalted butter, then add quarter teaspoon of salt. We will also need a quarter cup of walnuts, quarter cup of pecans, 2 tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, 2 tablespoons of flax seeds, 2 tablespoons of sunflower seeds. And we will need extra 1 teaspoon each of pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds and flax seeds to top the bread. Besides these, we will need 2 tablespoons of olive oil or any oil that you have and some butter for greasing the pans. We will coarsely grind the walnuts, pecans and the 2 tablespoons each of the pumpkin, sunflower and the flax seeds and set them aside. This should be coarsely ground and not made into a powder. We will add 2 tablespoons of water to the seeds that we are going to use for the topping. Soaking them in water helps them to stick to the bread properly. I am using a stand mixer to make the bread dough but the dough can be mixed very easily by hand as well. We'll add the 3 cups of the whole wheat flour and 1 cup of the oat flour into the mixing bowl and then add the rest of the ingredients which include the ground nuts and seeds, the yeast and the room temperature butter. Like I said before, I'm using salted butter. If you're using unsalted, then just add about quarter to half a teaspoon of salt. We will mix all these ingredients and then start adding water a little bit at a time. If you are using a stand mixer like I am, then mix it on low speed. After all the dry ingredients and the butter is mixed thoroughly, we are going to start adding the water. As we are mixing the dough, make sure to scrape the sides as well so that all the dry flour is mixed into it. I added the water one third at a time. After adding the last of the water, we are going to mix the dough until it comes together. It has taken 5 minutes in the machine for the dough to come to this stage. If you are doing it by hand, it will take longer. The dough is now ready and we will just sprinkle about 1 tablespoon of olive oil so that the dough does not stick to our hands when we bring it together. After bringing the dough together, I added another tablespoon of oil on top, covered it with a cloth and set it aside for one and a half hour to rise. Now the dough has perfectly risen in one and a half hours and has doubled in size. Dust some flour on a work surface. I'm using a tray as it makes cleaning easier. Then we will place the prepared dough onto the work surface and start spreading it out. Roll it and then spread it out again and then roll it back. This process is also called flooring. After we have done this process twice, we are going to cut the dough into two parts. And then we will take each part, spread it out, roll it and then spread it out again and roll it back. We will do this process of spreading and rolling twice with each of the loaves. Now that the loaves are ready, they need to rise again. I have taken two loaf pans which each is 9 by 5 and then grease them with butter on all sides and the base. Place the loaves in the grease tins, cover them and let them rise for about another half hour. In half an hour, they have doubled in size again. At this stage, we will take the soaked seeds and cover the top of the breads. These seeds, when cooked, they will become toasty and crunchy. I preheated the oven at 365 degrees Fahrenheit, which comes to 185 degrees Celsius, and gas mark is between 4 and 5. And I also placed a bowl of water on the lower shelf. While it's baking, the water will create some steam which will help the bread to stay soft and the crust will not be too hard. We will bake the bread in the preheated oven for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, the bread is perfectly done. We will take it out of the pan and place it on a rack to cool. As you can see, they are perfectly cooked from all sides. 
We will cut the bread after it has cooled down completely. Slightly crispy from outside, soft from inside, this bread is perfect for breakfast with butter and jam or for lunch sandwiches. And it also makes very good French toast. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and share. If you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe and by pressing the bell icon, you will get notifications for my upcoming videos. Enjoy!